In this video, I'm going to test the timeline and render performance in Adobe Premiere Pro. Stay tuned. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If not, welcome back. A lot of people have asked me about Premiere Pro performance test with this new Mac Pro with Dual Radeon 7s. You can see the full build here. Honestly, I didn't feel a big of a difference with this machine compared to my old trash can Mac Pro from 2013. Let me explain. Premiere Pro added dual GPU support back in 2013, but with a twist. If you have dual GPUs installed, Premiere Pro only uses one to render effects on the timeline, but uses both of them when exporting. Unlike DaVinci Resolve that uses as many GPUs as you throw at it. Make sure to subscribe for a 10 reasons why DaVinci Resolve is better than Premiere Pro. Anyway, back to the Mac Pro with dual Radeon 7s. In this project I have the same 4.5K red raw footage from the DaVinci Resolve timeline test video and there is no problem playing it back at full resolution in Premiere Pro either. But when I add a Lumetri color grade and unsharpened mask the playback is not usable at all. The CPU goes up to 100% and back down to 50% and none of my three GPUs works at all. Kinda weird. This is at full resolution though. If we put it in one quarter quality, the playback is fine without any frame drops. Remember, DaVinci Resolve could play this exact clip in similar effects and noise reduction just fine at full resolution. Premiere Pro just being Premiere, it takes short of 6 minutes to stabilize a 10 second clip and the result is horrible. To be fair, when the warp stabilizer work, the playback at full resolution do work as well with no frame drops. But only the CPU working, not the GPUs. What about render times? Is it faster to render with dual Radeon 7s compared to 1? This 2 minute clip took DaVinci Resolve 3 minutes and 14 seconds to render. And Premiere Pro takes, drumroll please, 16 minutes and 35 seconds. And this is without any noise reduction. Guys, come on, can we just stop using Premiere Pro? Anyway, for reference, my 2017 MacBook Pro 15 inch took 43 minutes in DaVinci Resolve to render the same clip. Sure, the VRAM on both the Radeon 7s is at 50%, but I doubt there is a difference with one or two cards, so I'm not even bothered to <laughs> open this machine up and remove one card. To thumb things up, Sure, the new Mac Pro with dual Radeon 7s is faster than the trash can, but at 5 times the price, it's not worth the performance gain if you're using Premiere Pro. Where I see the real difference is in DaVinci Resolve, and the difference there is huge. Let me know down below if you want to see another test or benchmark of this machine. And thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And remember, you're gonna need a bigger boat.